A mighty waterfall, swirling, surreal potholes, and an old trolley bridge that bursts into bloom every summer. Shelburne Falls has become a mandatory stop for sightseers along the Mohawk Trail. This stretch of Route 2, a 69-mile string of vistas and points of interest, and the state's very first official scenic auto route. With its trading posts and old roadhouse restaurants, the Mohawk Trail is a genuine throwback to an earlier era of motoring road trips. How fitting then to find the world headquarters of a classic ride on this classic drive. Calvin Clark loves cruising the back roads in his vintage 64 Chevy Corvair. It's a feeling unlike any other car once you're used to it. This baby's got style. This baby's got glamour. A feeling apparently shared by others. The last Corvair may have rolled off a Detroit assembly line in 1969, but the rear engine compact has found an afterlife out here in Shelburne Falls. Calvin and Joan Clark oversee the largest collection of Corvair parts in the world shipping out as many as 200 packages a day. So we really don't know how many people there are, but we have enough customers that it keeps the 25 of us right out straight year round. There are eight buildings filled with Corvair stuff that doesn't exist anywhere else. We're constantly doing carburetors because that's five or 600 a year. <laughs> There is also an upholstery shop where carpets, vinyl seats, and sideboards are created. Closely following highly detailed, hand-drawn specs the Clarks created themselves over the decades. We had no choice. We had no patterns, so we'd have to take original carpets and make our own pattern, trial fit it, and then diagram it out. Joan and Cal Clark were high school sweethearts. Their life journey together started, well, where else? I taught her to drive on a Corvair when, when she was 15. In 1971, the newly wed Clarks bought their own Corvair for 50 bucks with plans to restore it. But even then, parts were hard to find. Cal, a school teacher, didn't know it but his hobby was about to become his life's work. I don't care what anyone else says, I believe it handles much better than any of the large size cars during the 60s. If you're like most people who are interested in the Corvair, you want to know what it can do in action. The Corvair, called by some the poor man's Porsche, took a fatal hit in the mid 60s when it was slammed by Ralph Nader's unsafe at any speed, a critique of auto industry safety standards. We won't mention you know who. But guess who showed up in Shelburne Falls one day a few years ago, looking to buy a Corvair. He actually came and visited me because he wanted to get one for his museum. Corvairs aren't the only hot wheels tooling around Shelburne Falls. Worlds of possibility have opened up to thousands of dogs with mobility issues, thanks to Eddie's wheels. You don't need to euthanize a dog just because he can't walk. As long as he's still happy to see you and looking forward to dinner and being a good companion, that's why we have them in our lives. We're not running races with them. We're not sporting with them. There are companions. It all started when Ed and Leslie Grinnell adopted a dog with disabilities. Ed, an engineer, took wheels from his daughter's toy wagon and constructed a crude wheelchair. 20 years later, it's full speed ahead for Eddie's wheels. We are so Extremely busy. busy. <laughs> Busier than I think we've ever been. We're currently working on 151 carts. The chairs average around $500 and are guaranteed for the life of the dog. There are other carts out there. We are the most expensive, but we're the best. The carts are nothing short of transformative for the pups and their families. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Revealing the inner spirit of these little champions. And dogs are what you might call fast learners. 
there's a lot of satisfaction. You see a sad animal being carried in, and you put it down on the floor, and it's kind of pathetic. You put it in the wheelchair for the first time, and then it's gone. We call it the five-second learning curve. Dogs are smart. They understand physics in their bodies. We don't have to explain it to them. Amazing. Eddie's wheels haven't just gone to the dogs. Ed has designed wheelchairs for cats, llamas, even pigs. Big thanks, by the way, to Chico, Finch, Neville, and Webster for strutting their stuff for us. As for Ralph Nader and his hunt for a Corvair, he wanted it for his museum in Winstead, Connecticut, the American Museum of Tort Law. But Corvair lovers will tell you the Malign Chevy was exonerated in a 1972 government report, which said the car met all safety standards of the time. Coming up, people wait a long time for his split cane fishing rods.